Hello, I'm Scott with Challenge Photography, and a gentleman just said that uh, his C12 stand was broken. Well, it's not broken. What happens is these Allen screws, which are a two millimeter on this ring, have come loose. So I have taken mine apart just for the purpose of this video. So, what you want to do is you want to take your two millimeter Allen key and loosen those up to make sure where it just slides up and down on this, this column. This allows this piece here, the locking system, to slide up further up the shaft. Now here, this, where this little spot is, that's where this collar needs to be. Is right up there where this, hopefully you can see it. No, nope, you can't see it. Let me go back out a little further. And let me see if I can tilt it up just a little bit. I apologize. All right, so let's tilt it up. And there we go. Maybe we can see it now. So right here where the silver spot is, this is where these screws have come loose and have slid down on this bar. That's why I always recommend everyone always check your screws and your bolts before you go out onto a shoot because once you lose it out on a shoot, you're never going to find that bolt. And it's not your stand's not going to work properly if you lose the bolt. So there you go. So what we're going to do is we're going to slide this up now. And this is going to slide right down in here. And I'm going to slide this column back down here to where that is completely all the way down. Then I'm going to take my two millimeter What do you want to call it? Wrench? Allen key? Bolt? Whatever thingy? And you're going to lock that into place. And we're going to go around. And there's three of these. So we're going to circle it around. And go right there. Once those are locked in, your stand is as good as gold, good as new. Voila. Again, what happens is these will become loose over time. If you want to, you can get yourself some Loctite. It costs a couple dollars. You can take these screws out, these little Allen uh, bolts, nuts, bolts. Got to remember it's bolt. And with your two millimeter Allen wrench, put the thread type in there then lock it in so therefore you will not lose your Allen set bolt. Again, that's how it works. And again, you can see where it has slidden down because every time you do this, it loosens a lot of times these little Allen bolts out of here. That's the reason why I always tell everybody to always check your stands Tighten up your screws. Make sure that every single lock piece is there before you go out onto a shoot. Because more than chances that you, it might be in your car or somewhere in your house, but if you lost it out on a shoot, have fun trying to find it, especially out in the middle of the desert. Um, Edward does sell replacement pieces for these stands. He does warranty his stuff. So if something falls apart pre ahead of time under warranty, he's going to make sure it gets fixed and that you're a happy customer because he does not like dissatisfied customers and he doesn't like make, or people making posts about his product saying that it's no good or it's broken or anything like that. That's the reason why if you go to the website and you placed your order, there is an RM spot on there where if something is defective with your stand, you contact Edward. 
Again, you can post it, but don't say, well, hey, it's broken or something like that. Say, this happened, what can I do to fix it? And of course, someone on the group will have the answer for you. Again, a two millimeter Allen key. Let's loosen this back up. We're just gonna take this back open, open again. So I'm gonna unloosen all three of these, because there is three on this lock collar. So I'm gonna go flip it around here. All right, so now that lock collar free spindling, or free, spins freely in there. And again, once this is unlocked here, this thing will slide up and then this collar will fall off. This is your collar, this is your lock collar. So this is not broken. This is your problem. All you have to do is loosen up the two millimeter Allen bolts that are on this little collar and slide it up into place. And there should be little markings on there exactly where it was because right here is where it originally was. And after many times of using this stand, it pops down and slides. So I, again, I tighten my stuff up all the time because again, losing one of these little keys, or little bolts, you're never gonna find that little bolt. Again, you can buy replacement screws that will fit in there. If you go to um, like Ace Hardware or something like that, you can find the little metric screw and it might not be the Allen set set screw but you can find one again so let's put this back on here slide it up onto the shaft drop it in to the receiver part of the stand drop it all the way to the bottom with your stand out just like that and let me find out where my little locks were so i don't scratch it up somewhere else so once that's all the way down we will lock the two millimeter Allen bolts. And I just keep repeating myself, I know. Sound like a skip record. But again, I want people to understand the video. And just lock those in. And lock them in tight. And again, you can get the, some thread locker. Take these out, put that thread locker in. If you get the red, it ain't coming back out. If you get the blue, it's gonna lock it in, but you can remove it later because the red is going to lock it in and you ain't going to get it back out. Not without heating up the, the whole collar and the stand with the torch to melt that lock. And then once it's done, it locks in. Hopefully you can still see it. It locks in and that's it. Again, my name is Scott with Sean's Photography and this is how to maintain your stands. And again, go over your stands. The more you use it, the looser the bolts get. It's just like on a Harley. You gotta tighten them bolts up on that damn Harley all the time or else you're gonna have bolts falling out everywhere and that's just the way a Harley is. There's an Allen key, Allen up here that locks the locking uh, columns. So make sure you tighten those, make sure they're there. Just go over all your stands. I don't care if it's a C, uh, C12 stand, C10 stand, C8 stand, a cheetah boom, a rolling pistol stand. I don't care if it's an Avenger stand, uh, a Kupo stand. It don't make a difference what brand. You should always check and tighten your bolts all the time because again, if you use this stuff, because you're doing this all the time, that thing, it's, it's gonna get loose. That's just the way it is. My name is Scott with Sean's Photography, and thank you for watching.